Um, I would describe HR more in the context of our commitment and our acknowledgement that um, UJ is its intellectual capital um, and that um, our UJ employees are our most valued assets. Uh, we in HR follow a philosophy of um, people first or butter peely as expressed in our brand promise um, that we mind your business together. Um, employees at UJ can better their um, wellness through um, our wellness office, which recognizes that um, problems of a personal nature um, can have a very adverse, adverse um, impact on performance. Our wellness office has got um, a very involved employee assistance program that works together with a service provider called ICAS which offers a 24-hour service for psychosocial, emotional, um, and work-related um, 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 problems. Um, and it also manages a campaign that works together with the Office of the HIV AIDS, um, um, with the employees talking about um, HIV and AIDS-related issues. It manages a program that deals with absenteeism and also manages a program that deals with uh, wellness and lifestyle. We have a very friendly um, front office that helps to deal with um, issues of salaries and leave queries. Um, over and above that, we also have um, 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 a call center that colleagues can make use of if they cannot come personally to the front desk. And they can also make use of our self-help uh, mechanisms on the internet to apply for leave. And for salary-related um, issues, our administration um, in, in HR also deals with that. Um, for employees to be able to um, continuously improve in terms of their professional skills, uh, we have a um, training and development um, unit that has got a very comprehensive training and development program, um, short-term uh, programs that address continuous professional development, um, that also target specific areas like, for instance, project management or um, even areas that um, address finance or basic budgeting for employees that don't have those, um, those competences. Um, there are a number of priorities actually for 2012 and even beyond to make sure that uh, we reach out to UJ employees. We are currently reviewing our remuneration strategy together with um, our finance department and um, payroll. Um, and we are also um, looking at um, monitoring the implementation, actually, and managing the implementation of our recently released policies um, that will help with regard to evaluation of jobs, um, our performance management system, which still needs continuous improvement. Um, our retirement age um, a policy that's also looking at addressing the retirement age and as well as planning for retirement and counseling before retirement. We are also looking, um, we have a very comprehensive induction program for new employees, just as a way of introduction to UJ for new employees. Um, and we want to continuously improve on data management um, data input and output, the integrity of data, um, and, and those are really the key priorities for 2012. Um, I think, well, UJHR's commitment towards uh, providing um, quality service is expressed in our um, um, launch last year of um, HR code of conduct, which was really geared at making sure that um, we address, we continuously provide um, 
quality service and we employ um, ethical behavior in our undertakings with the rest of the environment. Um, at the beginning of this year, we also reviewed our code of conduct um, to confirm alignment with um, the ongoing discussions on UJ mission and values. And we found alignment with that. And for us, it's very key that um, we continuously have these links um, which are going to be expressed also in how effectively and efficiently we provide our services to UJ.